welcome back to the vlog please ignore the current state of myself i know i look absolutely crazy we're gonna kick this day off as a self-care day because so much has been going on and changing in my personal life and it's just a very weird limbo that i'm currently in and i'm in the middle of like sorting all of that out which i can tell you about in the upcoming videos so I'll be explaining everything that's happening, everything that's changing, but this video is just gonna be separate from all of that. I just wanted to hang out with you today and take it easy, take it slow. It's a Wednesday, which is so odd, but this whole past week and a half, two weeks, has been so odd. I know I look absolutely like dead right now. I just still thought I would turn on the camera and I wanted to spend the day with you, hanging out, doing things that make me feel good, make me happy, make it like a self-care day and also like a very calming vlog. It's gonna be very laid back. First, we obviously need to sort out this situation. Like this is not okay. I need to do a hair wash day and give myself a fresh blowout because that always makes me feel better when I wash my hair and then I style it, literally name a better feeling. It's also noon, which doesn't really matter, but I guess if you want the context of what time it is, it's noon and we're getting a weird start to the day. So if you like the vlogs, make sure to like and subscribe. We're gonna start off today with a good shower and then I have a few other little fun but chill things planned for us. Okay, so my all-time favorite moisturizer is the Trio Rebalancing Moisture Treatment from Skin Better Science. This stuff is so good. It is a little bit pricey, but if you want to splurge a little bit on some skincare and you have really dry skin, I would highly recommend this because it is the only moisturizer I've tried that is like so hydrating and moisturizing on my skin and I don't get like that tight feeling because no matter what moisturizer I use throughout the day, I usually get that like really dry tight feeling on my skin. If you're oily, it might be a little bit too thick or it might be really nice to just use at night as like a thicker moisturizer. And then I also recently got the like matching little eye cream. It's the Interfuse Eye Treatment Cream. And I personally don't love this. I don't think it's like worth how much it is. I just wanted to try it out, um, but it's very much the same consistency as the caffeine eye cream from the Inky List. Okay, and then while I'm here, I'm going to do some of this Crest whitening emulsions. I like to do this every so often, um, and it's basically just like a whitening treatment for your teeth. You have to like dry off your teeth a bit. <laughs> okay, so for a good at-home blowout, I don't do a lot of prep, but I will show you what I like to put on my hair. First, I will spray some of this Gisu heat protectant. And then I will do like a little pump and a half of this whey hair oil and just run that through the ends. Then I like to section my hair into two pieces. And just to begin, I use my Dyson with the regular attachment. And then I will also use this round brush that has like, it has like these really condensed bristles on it. My hair is very wavy. So I like to use it with the blow dryer to kind of like straighten the hair as it dries. Next, I'm going to take this attachment with the Dyson and I just run it through my hair a few times to kind of defrizz a little bit and dry out the remaining wet pieces of my hair. So 
So I'm gonna part my hair into two one more time and I'm gonna take the round brush attachment on the Dyson and do the little blow out motion. Um, but if you don't have a Dyson, I equally like doing it with just like a bristled brush. So basically what I'll do is I will dry it back and forth like this. I'll get it under and then I'll go over and then I'll go under, wrap the hair around and kind of go down, pulling the hair through it. And then as I pull the hair through it, I will kind of let it unravel as I twist it down like that. this blowout I grab my bangs and I put the Dyson on the lowest speed and I just brush through them like this and then I'll take a little roller just like clip it on my head like that I look like Jimmy Neutron literally but um, now I just need to do my makeup and get dressed So I just got dressed and I wanted to show you the outfit before we head out. It's this super cute pattern set from Princess Polly. You can see the little flower details on it and it matches my phone case perfectly, which is so adorable. It's just this cute little crop top with some shorts to go with it. And I like the shorts because they're high-waisted and they have this super thick elastic band um and then i just have all my uggs with it but i also think i need to put like a little sweatshirt or a jacket on over this so i'm gonna add that as well sets are going to be my go-to for spring and summer so i'm already stocking up on some and i really like this one so i think i showed in my last video that i was drinking athletic greens and i actually ordered myself some because i was stealing from Renee's servings and I'm going to drink some usually I'll do this first thing in the morning also this is obviously not sponsored by athletic greens but they do sponsor a lot of youtubers so I just wanted to say that I seriously think this is making such a difference in my skin guys I'm not joking I just know that like when I take all my vitamins my skin is so much better than when I don't also I don't think I've talked about this on my channel I also drink this aura organics harmonious vitamins and you take three a day and it's a plant-based blend of herbs to help you find hormonal harmony and since it's just herbs and not like medication it's obviously not going to be a like holy grail fix all for your acne but i noticed that this really does help it keeps my skin less inflamed and it does help my hormonal breakouts when i'm taking it every day it also helps my periods because my periods can be really bad because my hormones are just so insane that definitely doesn't fix the acne but it is something i take for my skin so i just wanted to let you know about that but i'm gonna drink my ag1 before i head out because i didn't get to drink it this morning it really doesn't taste bad too i have a lot of trouble drinking like green powders i've tried some i had some other ones from like the grocery store and they tasted like literal butthole and i couldn't drink them but the ag1 does not taste bad at all which i love because I'm such a picky eater and drinker and if something tastes really bad, I'm like, I'd rather, I'd rather just not drink it. Okay guys, we're on our way to our first self-care destination. I'm gonna give you one second to guess it because if you know me, you should know where I'm going. Barnes and Noble because where else would I be going? I'm doing things today, like I said, that make me feel good, that are healing for my soul and for my spirit and I love going to Barnes and Nobles. I'm in the mood to do a little bit of a book haul. I haven't bought books in a long time. There's a few that I have in mind. Um, I want to read some Lucy Score because I've never read any of her books before. I'm also about to finish Kingdom of the Wicked, so I already have the second one in the series. I bought it at Target because it was on sale, um, but there's a few other fantasy books that I've heard of recently that I think I might want to get. Maybe we'll start a first in a series, but I think I want to finish the Kingdom of the Wicked series before I either read the next Akatar book or start another fantasy series. Plus, the new Emily Henry book is coming out this month and I need 
to pre-order it. I also think I want to like sit down and read there for a while. get over this book it did damage to me I heard really good things about this one maybe I'll pick this up guys they have a super cool cover of Dance of Thieves <gasps> that's so pretty I really want it oh my gosh look at the pages they literally sparkle stack going which means I think it's time for me to leave I'm on chapter 40 of Kingdom of the Wicked so I'm gonna read some of this back inside now so i read for a little bit but my phone is dying so i just decided to come back in i definitely have a book haul so let's go through what i got also quick update on my nook it's one of the best gifts i've ever gotten and i think it's like basically identical to the kindle paper white what i like about this is that with a kindle usually you can just swipe the pages but there's buttons on the nook so it's really satisfying every time i finish a page to like click the buttons it's a weird little feature that i really like about this so the first one i got is serpent and dove by shelby i don't know how to say her last name marin marin um but this is basically about a witch and a witch hunter who get married or like have to get married so it's like a forced marriage type of thing and i heard sarah caroli talking about this and i think she really liked it um and then i was like flipping through the pages and i saw this one super cute scene between presumably the two main characters and it was so cute and that like got me and i was like okay i really want to read this so i picked this up it was in the ya fantasy section okay the next one i got is brutal prince by sophie lark i've heard a few people talk about this and every time i see someone talk about it i think the cover is so pretty it's like an, another like forced marriage type of thing which i guess is on the same note as serpent and dove which i didn't even really realize and then i got Moving on to some romance, I got Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. Pretty sure everyone has heard about this book. Yeah, I don't even really know what this is about. I think it has something to do with like small town romance. The sequel for this book just came out and everyone's reading it. And so it's giving me major FOMO. I've heard mostly good things about this one. I have heard a few people say they don't love it, but I still want to read it. And it's very thick. It's 500 pages. This is a brick. The next one that I got is Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. If you are in the book community, then you've also for sure heard of this book. I think it's a fantasy romance. And so I bought The Ballad of Never After at Target, which is basically, I think, the book after this. 
um, on accident because I thought it was the first book in the series. Um, so I needed to get Once Upon a Broken Heart because this is actually the first book in the series. And then the last book I got is actually like what I kind of went in there for. And this is Kingdom of the Feared by Carrie Maniscalco. And this is like a special cover that they had at Barnes and Nobles. And actually I don't mind that this is a hardcover. I like feel like I'm slowly starting to accept hardcovers because I used to hate them and honestly discriminate against them. This is the book haul for today. It's a lot, but I'm so excited to read some of these. I think I'm gonna head to Whole Foods on my way home to pick up some stuff for dinner and a snack because it's 3.50, but I ate a huge like brunch with my mom. So I'm not hungry for a full meal, but I could definitely go for a snack, especially while I read. Home. Oh my gosh, my hair looks crazy. I just walked to Lola, but I'm home from the groceries and everything I thought I would do a little grocery haul to show you what I got because I ended up getting a bit more than I thought I was going to So starting with what I basically went for was these poppies. I wish they had them in like a case though I didn't realize they sold them individually and then I got some Kite Hill yogurt because I've been making little parfaits in the morning And this is so good for that um, I got some shrimp scampi to eat for lunch tomorrow. These pizza bagels are my snack for right now. So I'm already preheating the oven for those. I got some avocados and then this is my favorite like salad kit from Whole Foods. I got this little steamer basket because I also got broccoli for dinner. Um, I got some siete chili lime chips, vanilla almond milk. And I got some cod for dinner, which I actually need to put in the fridge. I decided that I want to do my nails because I like tore off all of my gel extensions the other day. So I'm just going to do some gel on my regular nails. I want to take a second to tell you guys about today's sponsor, which is Lily Silk. Lily Silk is a clothing brand that primarily uses silk and extremely high quality materials. Lily Silk has investment pieces that range from loungewear to sleepwear. Silk is not only the queen of fibers because it is one of the most luxurious materials to use, it is also antibacterial, breathable, temperature regulating. And so the first thing I wanna show you is the silk pillowcase. They sent me this really pretty like rose colored pillowcase. I'm going to throw it in the wash right now to put it on my pillow. And since it's temperature regulating, I know that it's going to be super good to sleep in. This is also one of the more affordable options on their website. So I would highly recommend checking this pillowcase out. I'll obviously have everything linked down below, but the first piece is this really pretty, it's this yellow, very flowy and lightweight poncho type shaped shirt. And it has these little drawstrings at the front. And I just think this will be perfect for the spring, especially because it gets so hot in Texas. Okay, and then next is this really beautiful white top. It's this little tank top and I love the shape of it. It has the V-neck line and then the ruffles at the bottom kind of go longer on the sides, shorter in the front. I've been loving little tank tops like this for the springtime. And then the last piece that I got is this beautiful sleeveless shirt. So the collar comes up a little higher and then it has these ties on the back to create like a bow, which I love. I'm actually really excited to wear this with like some white pants or like some white cargo pants, I think would be really cute. If you check out Lily Silk and you see some stuff that you like, you can use code Annika12 for 12% off everything on Lily Silk, or you can use Annika30 for buy one, get one, 30% off. Definitely check them out. And thank you so much to Lily Silk for sponsoring this video.
I bought this new steamer, so I'm trying to steam some broccoli. Never done this before. Okay, so I'm gonna make cod, but we don't have olive oil. And- uh, I have olive oil at my house, but do you think it'll be too late? It'll, it'll be way too late. Just stop. So I'm gonna wing it without the olive oil, just the spices, don't know how that's gonna go. Ago, let me bring you closer a few weeks ago I told you guys that I ordered some artwork for my apartment and I have the artwork here so I'm going to put some of it in I'm not gonna do the big ones right now this is one of the ones I got it's like this really colorful like Pinterest type print isn't that so cute okay this is the next one I got Oh, that's cute. And I got a white frame for this one. This is the next one I got. It's this really pretty like neutral abstract print, but I like the like little bits of pastels that is mixed in with it because it brings the color together, especially because I have a pastel pink dining table. This is the next one I got. This is one of my favorites. It's like a girl diving into a cup of coffee and it says good morning. <laughs> Lola, you're blocking the shot. And this artist has other super cute prints. Her name is Sabina Fenn. Okay, I put four prints in their frames. I think that's all I'm gonna do for right now because I'm getting kind of lazy. I will show you the rest of the prints in the upcoming videos. Doesn't that look so cute? I definitely need to order like a bigger one to go next to it, but I just wanted to get like a first collection of them so that way I could see like what I was missing and what I needed to order, but I think it looks really cute. Also, I got this little tray for my perfume off Amazon. I like how it looks like vintage and kind of antique. It's so cute. I'll have it linked down below. And I also added this to my dresser, which is from Anthropology. Also super cute. Okay, I think I want to do a face mask right now. So I'm going to do this Dr. Jard's cryo rubber one. Honestly, last time I did this, I didn't see a huge difference in my skin. I just think it's really fun. I do it for the novelty of it, if I'm honest. Whoa. I feel like the rubber man from American Horror Story every time I put this on. Okay, I'm gonna watch a vlog and just chill while this sits for the next literally 40 minutes. Okay, this is dinner. I made some cod with quinoa and broccoli. After I ate dinner, I just got in bed and read a little bit and then literally knocked out and forgot to end the video. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to go follow me on Instagram if you wanna see some more of my content subscribe to see some more vlogs. I love you all and I will see you in my next video.